Hello, Philly Cheese Stick here inside Saints for the third. I'm doing Stick the Landing Flame on and Cat in a Hot Tin Roof. Beware, the actually, this is the last of the Genki Bowl 7 DLC. First one, quite simple. Just complete the first instance of Sam Panda Skydiving. Doesn't matter how you do it. You can get it at the same time as. Uh, you seem uh, is getting flame on. I did this separately in a separate instance, and as you can see, I completely derf it, but I still get the ring, so therefore achievement. Stick the landing. Yeah, it won't you know totally screw you up. So I mean that's a good thing, right? So anyway, first of three. Second, this one's a little. This is easy. This requires you to have a little finesse, you know, and. Uh, aim at the targets and you know back off in the stick a little bit when you know you're getting a little too high now nice thing is they don't force you to go all the way through it they're not making a superman 64 of this and as you see i completely derf that one but i'm able to come back hit that balloon and yet keep going and i you know stop there anyway and you know make sure i absolutely get it so i mean that's nice you know i guess i did make a superman 64 reference or whatever but anyway Ignore the mascots, just go for the rings on this one, because we're going to do it again for the mascots in just a bit. Now, once you get to the final one, which you should be in just a moment here, the only reason I haven't done this is like four times speed like I normally do when there's these longer videos is just because, well, it makes sense. Anyway, flame on, you don't have to get everything, just focus on the rings first, get the other ones later. Okay, now for this last one, I will tell you right away... This one is my bane of existence in this game. Well, second bane of existence, actually. Well, for guide-wise, this was a bane. This was a pain in the ass. Now, don't even bother for the rings. Go for the tallest building first and work your way down. I, this one, I believe I had to restart like five or six times. This one specific spot. I'll tell you that right now. Now, note I I have it normal motion for the flying, but yet have the fast motion on the slicing because there's a set amount on each one and once you get each area clear to say top of cool and super ethical which means you're good if it says top of cool you're in the green however if it says anything different you're screwed so anyway in this instance uh, there are some uh, nice thing is with this though they do have a nice little saving feature for this as in uh, if you miss someone all you all three two one get the hell out of there hit a balloon come back up there and take whoever take care of whoever you missed. Even if it says clear for landing, just take care of the whoever's left. Continue to the next area. Remember, hit them from ele in elevation wise. So e the remember the white balloons in this case. You shouldn't have to care about them at all. You, they remember, you're just doing this until you get the achievement, and then after that, you can just quit the activity, or you can complete it and get the cash. So anyway, I do derf this one really bad. Yeah. However, you can still get up there. Fret's not, and you do not have to restart. Just, you know, jump over here onto this tiger one, and it'll reset the clock. And you can get back up here, just don't derf it again. And then, have fun. Kill all the mascots. And I wish I had, um, one of the Adobe Suite programs to do that. And remember, and also note, if they do jump out of the cannon, it still counts as your kill. So that's nice. Even if you don't kill all of them yourself. Anyway, we'll go on to the next area here. And once we get over to this one, uh, we're gonna again kill all the mascots. And again, I bet you five bucks. Not literally. You're not getting any money out of me because I do this out of free will, not out of you know. Um, I don't get paid for this. I don't. I do this a as a hobby. Anyway, though, I bet you five bucks that will that you will have to redo this like six, seven, eight times if you don't get it right. There's a rhythm to it. Especially when you have to get specific amount of people, or a specific amount of um, the the people, and of, of course hitting the elevations right. Because if you don't hit the elevations right, then you basically just screw yourself over big time. Anyway, this is the last area. We're gonna get the last of the mascots. This one tends to be the second most difficult because it's divider here, and if they manage to jump over like that, or like this guy right here, and I completely derf that guy like what three times. And this, I don't know why that tends to be the hardest one. So anyway, there you go. Hat, cat in a hot tin roof. That one, I'll tell you right away, in this DLC, this one's the hardest. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And as always, have a great and beautiful day. Next up, Gangsters in Space. Stay tuned for that one. That's the last of the Genki Bowl 7, and I will see you next time.